Welcome back everybody. Today I am doing an unboxing and playthrough of Stardew Valley, the board game. Uh, I don't know too terribly much about the board game. I have read the rules uh, just online um, and I'm pretty familiar with the video game. I used to play it quite a bit, though it's been a while um, since I've really gotten into it. But I saw, um, I found out that this game was out, this board game, and decided I needed to get it. And I figured I would kind of run through the unboxing and initial playing with uh, with everybody on the channel. So with that, I'm going to get right into opening the box here. It's a pretty big box, um, pretty heavy box. And just looking, again, looking at the rule book for it, it uh, it does seem as though there's going to be quite a few components in here, so that's always exciting. All right. So it looks like we've got a uh, rule book here. Yep, rule book. Got some Joja tiles as well as the uh, farm building tiles here. We've got our animals and some more Joja tiles. Got our heart tokens and our money, uh, our profession cards, the first player token, and it looks like some some other collectibles there. And it looks like we've got oh wow quite quite a few sheets of these. So we've got another one here. Got a whole bunch of items here on this one. Got our crops. Uh, looks like we've got uh, some more. Uh, collectibles here, and I may be using the wrong word. I'm sorry. I'll as I uh, I'll pause and punch all these out and go through the rules again before we start playing. Um, so hopefully I'll I'll get the terminology down. But we've got our trees and our fish, and it looks like we've got some more fish here. This is our tray to hold all of our um, like the items that we collect in. And then we've got the board here, which is pretty large. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to get all of this on camera. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, you can see the fish track down here. Uh, we've got the different locations around the town. So let's see if I can't get the uh, top of that in out there. I'll have to play with the camera to get that all on camera here. But we'll just set that aside for now. And we've got cards. We've got, uh, looks like we've got mine events and items. And it looks like there's other things within here. I'll open those up shortly. We've got some dice. Sorry if I just bumped the camera there. Uh, we've got six dice here. And I think there's, uh, I'm trying to remember, we've got animal dice. And then we've got like the town dice with the hearts. We've got two bags. One is for fish and one is for, uh, I think, minerals. Um, so I'll take a look at those when, once we get going. We've got our pawns, our player pawns. Looks like we have our season deck here. Uh, and looks like we've got our townspeople uh, and uh, the objective cards in here. And possibly some more. It looks like that's it. Yep, that is it for the box. And then uh, let me just pause here momentarily, take stock of what we've got, and then open up uh, some of these cards. Okay, so I've just kind of scored these packages open here, but let's see if I can fumble around and get them open on camera. So we've got item cards. Uh, we've got our uh, profession cards here. Those are upgrades to your... Uh, at the beginning of the game, every player picks a profession, and you can randomly upgrade throughout uh, the game. It looks like we've got mining, uh, foraging, fishing, and farming. Got another pack of cards here. Uh, try to figure out where I where I cut it open initially. There we go. Okay, we've 
got our mine events, we've got epic items, we've got events, and we've got our tools, as well as the community center bundles. Okay, these cards are a little bigger. These look to be about like playing card sized here. And uh, we've got our, yeah, these are our season decks that we'll build um, winter, summer, spring, and fall. And anything else in here? Looks like we've got the, the season end card, as well as one objective card there, so we'll set that aside. So then we've got our final pack of cards here to open up. Perhaps. All right, so these are more of the, yep, the objective cards, or I think they're grandpa's tasks or something like that. Uh, we've got mine levels here. Uh, we've got mine maps. Quite a few of them. And then we've got our villagers. Uh, okay, so that's everything that comes in the box here. I'm going to go through, punch out all of the cardboard, try to figure out how to set the camera up to get at least most of the board on screen, and I will be back. All right, so I've gone through, uh, punched out everything. Uh, there was quite a bit to punch out, but uh, Compared to other things I've had on this channel, like World World in Flames or Stellar Horizons, it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, I went through, punched everything out, shuffled all the decks as appropriate, and I'll kind of go through how I set it up. Um, much like most of the videos I post, I'm not really going to go through like a full tutorial on how to play the game, but I'll explain everything I'm doing, and if you've read the rulebook uh, once, I, or even if you haven't, I think you'll get a pretty good idea of how to play. Uh, assuming I'm playing correctly, I haven't actually played this yet, um, I have read the rules, like I said, um, but I don't really have much in the way of strategy or tactics, so I may... Uh, do very poorly <laughs> my first time here. Uh, but we'll go through it together. It'll be a learning experience. Um, so just taking a look at the board, what we have here. This is the main board. I've got the season deck right here. Um, the season deck has four cards per season, spring, summer, uh, fall, and winter. And each of those cards will tell us uh, a few actions that we perform uh, at the beginning of each turn basically and then we take our actions across uh, the board so after i resolve the actions as listed on one of the season cards i'll put my uh, token out on the board and i'll do either two actions in that location or i'll do an action there move to an adjacent location and do an action there and then once that's done you move back to the farmhouse you can do some end of turn effects and then that's the end of the turn uh, there's four of those turns per season, and there are four seasons in the game. So the game is uh, won by completing all four of the goals up here, uh, called Grandpa's Goals. Uh, and then we also have six different community center bundles here. Um, and those are turned face down right now, up along the top row. Um, and then we will reveal those throughout the course of the game by, um, I think, spending heart tokens, uh, and we'll flip them over sequentially, and then we need to complete those as well. And those will be things like donate a fish or donate a crop, something like that. Uh, so the those are hidden. Uh, the goals here that we picked, there's a total of eight in the deck, and I randomly pulled four of them. Um, and so we need to have two uh, animals per player, and I'm just playing a, a single player game here. So I need to have two animals, uh, uh, I need to own two animals. I need to have 10 gold per player, so 10 gold by the end of the game. I need to fill museum slots equal to two times the number of players, so I need to fill two of the museum slots over here. And then I need to expand the farm. I need to own a number of buildings equal to the number of players. Now, to raise animals, I need to build a barn or a coop. Uh, so that will be something that we just get by default uh, if we're getting the raise animals goal as well. 
Uh, other things I've set up over here, as I mentioned, I've got the four buildings right here that we can build this game. The coop and the barn are always available, and once you build the coop, you can buy animals, um, same with the barn. Uh, and then the other two are random, and I pulled the farmhouse and the mill. And you buy those with money and resources that you collect along the way. Uh, I apologize for the glare. I know there's some right here on the fish track, but uh, there are five fish uh, tokens here that I randomly drew, uh, and the, I'll pull one of them up here, the color of the fish tile, this one being blue, indicates where you can fish for it, so uh, also the shape, so triangle blue, that's at the river, uh, the white square is ocean fishing, and the green circle is lake fishing, and, that, and you, we'll get to that when I get to fishing, but it, it depends, wherever you are, it kind of depends on what you can uh, get out of the, um, the row here, the fish track. Uh, if it has a crab pot symbol on it, you can you can only get it if you have bug meat, and I think that's something that we can find in the mine. And then there's also a treasure chest here. Um, if you catch the fish to the left of the treasure fish or the chest, you also get the treasure chest. Uh, there's no fish at the moment to the left, but things move to the right, so eventually there'll be a fish to the left of the treasure chest. At the beginning of the game, you start with one crop in your field. You get parsnip in um, spot two. As we water the crops, they'll all move to the right, and once they go all the way off the farm, uh, they go into your inventory. Uh, it is spring. I've put out all of the spring forageable tiles randomly in the spots that they tell me to do, uh, indicated by the mushroom here. Uh, and then trees are just, uh, you get pieces of wood if you chop down trees, and there are four spots along the map to put those out as well. The way you collect uh, these forageables here, um, I mentioned earlier you can either take two actions in a location, or you can take one action, move, and then take another action. If you move along a path, you can just automatically collect either a tree or a forageable from an area that is adjacent to the line here. Uh, so if I move from uh, Marnie, from, uh, buying animals here, over to river fishing, I'd be able to take either this forageable or this forageable or one of these trees here. Uh, and then over on the right side over here, we've got our shuffled decks of the villager cards, events, epic items, items, the Joja tiles, and the mine events. I've also started the, the mine here. We're at level one, uh, as well as the mine map. And again, I will get to that once we get to the mine. And uh, I've started off here. The profession you pick for single player doesn't really matter uh, because uh, the one change for a solo game... Typically, uh, each player will pick a profession to start the game, and then uh, from time to time throughout the game, you get to randomly pick upgrades for that profession. If you're a solo player, you can pick from um, a variety of the, the, the decks for profession upgrades. So I just picked the foraging tile here because it's green, and I'm going to use the green token on the map. Uh, but the profession doesn't really matter. I did pick the watering can as my tool. Um, I think we're going to need to do some farming to make money to do uh, to build buildings, to buy animals, and also to have the 10 gold for Grandpa's goal up there. So I decided to go with the watering can. Again, I don't know if that was the right call or not, but uh, this is a game primarily about farming. It seemed like the right decision. Uh, I got the cat first player token, but it doesn't really matter as I'm a solo player. This isn't going anywhere. And then you start the game with three gold. Uh, then just off the camera here, well, there's a lot of stuff off the camera, but the main thing is the tray of resources, uh, and when I need to pull from there, I will do that. So I think with uh, no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Um, and I'll just kind of walk through my decisions that I'm making and, uh, and what I'm doing here. All right, so the first thing we do, um, this is what we do every turn. Uh, the first thing we do is pull a season card. 
Um, now, I am only playing with the standard cards, and I'll go through what the symbols here mean. Uh, they recommend for your first game uh, that each of the season cards in here are the standard card. Now, they are shuffled up, but you see that there's the little uh, symbol there, uh, and that means it's a standard card. There's, I don't know, there's probably like 20 different options for each season to shuffle into the deck uh, once you get experience with the game, so it, it can be quite different each time you play. Um, but I am using the standard cards for this game. So uh, again, this is the season phase, so we go from top to bottom uh, and go through the different actions it tells us to do. So the first one there is a star. We're going to flip any planted crop so that its quality side is face up. Now we've only got the one crop here, the parsnip, but we'll go ahead and flip it over. And now it's a quality parsnip. All right, next up is the raindrop. Raindrop, uh, we move all planted crops one space to the right, and that will go that way. Next up is the pet symbol. Uh, the, the first player token would shift, but uh, I'm not going to bother doing that, as I am the only player at the moment. The fourth symbol here is the fish. The fish, uh, discard the two rightmost fish tiles from the fish track. Now, neither of these are legendary, so they don't go back into the bag. They'll just be discarded. Uh, slide the tiles right to fill the empty slots. Uh, and then draw new tiles to populate the vacant slots. So, let me find the bag of fish here. I've got them all in this bag. And I'm just going to randomly pull, and we get a cockle. And we get a bullhead. All right. So two new uh, fish here. And if you get the cockle, you also get the treasure chest, as it is the fish to the left of the treasure chest. All right. And then lastly, the last one on here is the shipping bin. I can trade and sell resources, but as I have none uh, at the moment, uh, there's nothing here on my player card. Uh, there's nothing I can do with that either. So uh, with that, that's the end of the season phase. Move to the planning phase. This is where... So this game is a co-op game. I guess I sort of failed to mention that at the beginning. It's a co-op game for one to four players. You're all working on the same team. You all share the same um, the same gold and heart token uh, pool, uh, and you're working for a common goal. Um, so this is the phase where the players would discuss and figure out where they want to move their pawn. I can move the pawn anywhere on the board to start with, and that's where I'll take my actions in the final part, the action phase. So let me take a look here, see what I want to do, and I will uh, let you know what I decide. I think before I make any decision here, uh, let me go through and just kind of briefly discuss all of the different actions that we have available to us on the board. Uh, so here in the farm, we've got collect from animals and water the crops. So water the crops um, is an action where you can you spend an action and you move all the crops in the field one space to the right, much like we just did with the the rain. Um, the collecting from animals, we would roll the animal dice here if we had animals, and depending on what comes up, we could collect resources from our animals. Uh, I sort of discussed fishing. Uh, there's three locations to do fishing, lake fishing up there in the top right. Um, we would roll the other set of dice here, and depending on what comes up, you can match the symbols, and if the symbols match the fish on the the fish track down here, you can take that fish. Now, a lot of the fish we have down here right now are crab pot. Those work a little bit differently. You need bug meat for that. Uh, buy animals here at Marty's. Uh, that is what it sounds like. You can buy animals if you have the appropriate buildings. Coming over here into town, you can make a friend. Uh, that's where you get heart tokens, and then um, as you make... Uh, you can make friends by giving gifts to the villagers that you pull up randomly in the uh, pile there. You can visit Pierre. You can buy seeds and sell things. That might, in, that might be what I end up doing this time around. Um, I might go buy some plants, uh, buy some crops to plant. Uh, and then you also have the community center, which is where you can uh, reveal and complete the bundles. Up here in the mountains, you can do the fishing. You can explore the mine. Uh, and I'll kind of get into the mine as we go. But basically, you can uh, you have a chance at getting different items up there. And you can visit Robin to have, um, uh, to have her build buildings for you if you pay her the gold and the resources needed for that. 
Uh, and then lastly, over here, uh, you can open geodes over there with Clint. He will open geodes that you get in the mine, and um, you can get ore and different things for that. Ore is useful to upgrade the tools, so like if I wanted to upgrade my watering can, um, I would upgrade that using ore. And so right now, I, I, I've already defined uh, what the watering the crop um, action does, but basically if I upgrade my watering can, instead of moving just one spot over, I can move two spots or three spots or four spots as I go. So the, the, the watering action becomes better as I upgrade the watering can. Uh, and then lastly, you can donate to a museum. To the museum, uh, some items are donatable to the museum, and I will need to do at least two of those to fulfill the goal up here. And the other reason you would do that is if you fill in all of the left side or all of the right side, you get an epic item there. So, uh, having said that, I think what I'm going to do is start here, downtown, uh, and. I think the first action I will do is visit Pierre, and I'm going to buy seeds. You can buy as many as you want. Each seed costs only a dollar. Um, the catch here, though, is that um, it goes into whatever spot on the farm as the watering token here. And um, you can't stack unless you upgrade your tools to allow you to do that, uh, I think, with the, the hoe tool. Uh, but I don't have that. I've got the watering can, and it's up, un upgraded anyway. So I can't do any stacking. Uh, I have three gold. I think I'm going to spend all of it right now. And I'll show you what I'm buying here. Um, it is spring, so I'm buying spring uh, crops only. And I'm buying a parsnip, a potato, and a strawberry. And you'll notice it's a two, a three, and a four on the watering icon there. And so we'll put the parsnip in two, the potato in three, and the strawberry in four. I don't know if that's the right call, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and try to make some money uh, by selling those crops. So that was all three of my dollars, all three of my gold. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do is go back to the farm at this point. Uh, so I'm going to do a move over here to the farm. And along the way, I'm going to forage. And I'm going to forage here. I'm going to take this tile, which is a horseradish. And I'll just take that to my inventory. And then I'm going to do the water the crops action. And I just have a standard watering can right now, but I'm going to uh, spend an action to move all of my crops one space to the right. So this quality parsnip comes off, and I take that into my inventory. I've only got six spots here, so I want to be mindful of that. And then everything else also moves one to the right. And with that, those are my two actions, uh, and so that's all I'm going to be able to do for this particular turn. Uh, so now that I'm done, I can go back to the farmhouse, and I can do any number of the end-of-turn effects here. Uh, build stairs, pet animals, remove Joja uh, tiles, and upgrade starting tools, but uh, I don't have the ability to do any of that. Uh, so since that is done, that is the end of that turn. And we will move on now to the next sp um, season card. So what do we have? We have a um, water drop. So we move all of our crops over one more. That means I take this parsnip into my hand. Uh, the pet icon, again, that doesn't do anything right now. And then the shipping icon. And let me think about that. I don't know if I want to sell something or not. Um, I know that I want to be able to probably make a friend this turn, so I want to make sure I have enough items to be able to do that. Yes, I think I'm going to skip this for now. Uh, so I'm going to... Just put this over here, and during the planning phase, I'm going to go back here to the town, and for my first action, I'm going to try to make a friend. So I'm going to spend an action here in town to reveal the top card of the villager deck, uh, and that is Marnie, uh, and then she wants animal products. Um, if you do that, you get two heart tokens. Um, she does not accept these symbols over here, which I think are geodes and minerals. Uh, but anything else will give her one, or it'll give you one heart token. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to give her uh, the non-quality parsnip I have, uh, and then Marnie becomes my friend. And then uh, when it is time. Uh, 
to have a gift symbol pop up on one of the season cards here, I could I could get a uh, random animal product. So, and in addition to that, I do get a heart token for uh, befriending one of the townspeople. I think with the other action, I'm going to stay here in town. I'm going to do the community center action. I do have a heart token. I'm going to spend it to reveal the first of the um, the community center bundles here, which is the crafts room. So I'll attempt to flip that over here. Uh, and winter forageable. They want a winter forageable item. So nothing I can do about that yet. Um, I believe the way each of those cards work. So the, when I when you put those uh, community center bundle, bundles out there, uh, first you do all of the crafting room ones, and then the pantry, then the fish tank, the bulletin board. You take one of each of those piles, and for like the crafting room, those are the foraging ones, and then the pantry, those are food items, and so on. So I think at this point what that means is it's safe to do something with this horseradish I have here. Either give that to somebody uh, to make another friend, or I can sell it. I don't think I need to hang on to it. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of that turn, so I'll move back to the farmhouse here, and uh, I don't have any end of turn effects, so we'll move on to the next one. All right, so we do have um, some new symbols here, and let me pull up my uh, list here in the rule book to make sure I'm getting these all correct. The top one there is the green crow. Choose one of my crops in a green field to be discarded. Uh, so I have to discard either my strawberry or my potato. I think I'm going to go ahead and discard the strawberry. That may not be the right call, but I'm going to get rid of the strawberry. Uh, and then hopefully soon we will get that potato into our inventory where it is safe. The next icon here is the gift. Uh, gift. Each player chooses one of their befriended villagers and activates their gift ability. Uh, and then trigger the effect of all non-villager cards with gift symbols. I don't have any of those, but I do have a friend. And um, that is Marnie. And Marnie, uh, I get one random animal product. So I'm going to take one of the animal dice here. I'm going to roll it. And I take a cow's milk. Yes, that's the cow. So I will get one cow's milk, and I'll add that to my inventory. So that'll be nice. That'll give me something else to make friends with. The next symbol here is event. So I will go pull an event card and resolve its effects. Those are the green ones here. So we've got visit the spa. Starting player may immediately take one bonus action from any location. Uh, okay, I think what I'll do is make a friend. Um, I was hoping to maybe go other places on the map this time around, uh, so I am not going to go to the town this time, so I'm going to go ahead and use this particular action, this event, to try to make another friend. So we've got Linus, uh, and he likes forageables and fish, uh, and so I will give him the horseradish I've got here. Uh, let's see here, that's the horseradish. I'll give that to him. He loves horseradish. Uh, so I get two heart tokens for that gift. And then the last item here is I can sell things out of my inventory. Um, I think I'm still going to hang on to them at the moment. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's the right call or not. Once we flip over the pantry at the community center, uh, I'm I'm thinking that I want to make sure that I don't need some kind of quality uh, crop or a spring crop. Um, and then once I can confirm that, I might be willing to to sell that parsnip, but uh, not at the moment. All right, so for the action phase here, after having just talked about not going to the town, I'm going to decide to go to the town uh, and do the community center uh, action. I'm going to spend one of the two heart tokens I just earned there from the event and flip over the next community center bundle. This time that's the pantry, and that is any quality crop or quality forageable. Uh, so I do have that quality crop on me. So I will go ahead and do that. Uh, you can reveal and 
donate to bundles uh, and it's part of the same action. So I'm going to take the quality crop here that I've got, the parsnip. I'm going to, um, really you would put that over here onto the card because you need a number of items equal to the number of players. But because I'm just one player, I have automatically completed that particular bundle, uh, any quality crop or quality forageable. I will set that aside and that is one room of the community center that has now been completed. Uh, and then when you restore a room, you gain an item. So not an epic item, but you do get an item here. And I got a field snack uh, discard during your turn to take an extra action. So I know this is a little off camera down here and I apologize. Uh, you do get to keep two items. Uh, so that'll be one of them. Those are different than the like the items up here up top. Um, the item card is a, is a different uh, area down here. So I'll have to think about when to use that. Uh, I think I am done with the community center action here and I'm going to move uh, up to the mountains and along the way I will go ahead and take this forageable for free and that's a fiber that's basically just trash. Um, I'll hang on to it for now but I, I think that's just trash so um, that may have no purpose but we are up there at the lake now. And I'm going to attempt to do some fishing. So the way to do fishing, uh, let me again make sure I'm doing this correctly per the rules, but uh, I think I have a, a handle on it here. So uh, I'm going to take all three of the Stardew dice, and those are the ones with the hearts on them. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and roll them. Let's see what we get. I get three hearts. Uh, let's see here. So the fish that I can catch up at the lake are the green ones. I don't have any bug meat, so there's nothing I can do about the snail. So the only one I could get here is the bullhead, uh, just based on the location uh, at the lake. But it needs a heart and a genimo, uh, and I only got hearts. So there's nothing I can do about that. That was uh, not the best use of an action there, or at least it didn't, didn't go quite my way, but that's all right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and use my item now, uh, the field snack. So I'm going to discard it during my turn, and I'm going to take an extra action. Uh, and I'm just going to try again to get that fish. So here we go. All right. So I've got two hearts and a Jumino now. Uh, so I can basically assign the heart and the Jumino to the fish over here. And I can go ahead and take that to my inventory. So with that fishing action complete, I do draw a new fish from the bag. And we have a crimson fish. And I believe that's one of the legendary fish. Um, so, yeah. Taking a look here at the rule book. Yes, that is one of the legendary fish. Uh, so I know the legendary fish have some uses with uh, a, the fish tank at the community center may require a legendary fish, things like that. So uh, that's interesting to see there, but that is the end of my action. So I'll, remove, I'll uh, move myself over to the farmhouse. And again, I don't have any actions there. So move on to the last of our spring cards and we have quality crop and then sell items so we'll turn our potato over to the quality side and then I can sell items I don't think I'm going to do that at the moment um, I don't know how I'm going to end up getting money here but uh, it just feels like I maybe should try to hold on to those items uh, no you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and sell the milk uh, I'll sell the milk here for two gold, um, just to get a little bit of money. So, all right. That is the end of that card there. And I think this turn, what I want to do is probably head over to the mine. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to head over to the mine, and we're going to try exploring the mine. 
So when you take an action at the mine, you roll two of the dice, uh, the same dice that we rolled for the fishing. Uh, and we'll go ahead and roll that and see what happens. All right, we get a, um, oh, I should remember the name of them, uh, a heart and the starfruit? No, starfruits or something else. Um, it'll come back to me. I'll remember the name of it here shortly. But anyway, uh, you can look at the table here on the map to figure out uh, what you get from that. So I got a heart and the fruit item. Uh, and then, so you can either go heart to fruit or heart to fruit. Um, in this case, that is the same thing, and that is a skull. So let me take a look and see what that means for us. All right, so if you get the skull item or uh, icon, you do whatever it says up on the mine here. Let me pull that over here to get that a little closer. Um, so luckily this is just level one of the mine and so we actually have a small benefit here we do get to gain a stone from that particular action uh, later on as there are more enemies deeper down in the mine those cards get worse um, but we'll keep the stone that might be useful to build a building though i'm looking and i see that neither the barn nor the coop require any kind of stone so that may be something that we just end up discarding later uh, okay, and then I need to figure out what I want to do for my second action here. All right, I think I'm going to move back over towards the farm, uh, and on the way take this forageable, which is a leak. So we'll go ahead and take that to our inventory. And then I'm going to do the crop watering action and get this potato into our inventory, uh, with the idea being... Um, probably early on in the summer, we'll go to Pierre's and sell our um, uh, sell some things and then plant some more crops. So those are my two actions. Uh, moving back to the farmhouse here, and there's nothing I can do. So with that, we'll move on here to the last day of spring card. So place new trees and forageable tiles, and then draw profession upgrades and keep one. So I'll go through uh, and change out all of the spring tiles here to the summer tiles, uh, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done with that. All right, I've gone through and put out all of the summer tiles here. And then uh, it says draw two, two profession upgrades and keep one, but again, for solo play, what that means is I can pull three of any combination from the four profession stacks. I've already shuffled them up. I think I'll take a farming, a foraging, and a mining profession upgrade, and then we'll see which one we should keep here. Uh, okay, so pulled some double-sided ones. I'll, I'll go one at a time. So mining, uh, I can spend an action to draw a mine event card. Oh, sorry, it's off camera. There we go. Uh, that may not be in focus. I apologize. Uh, so that's the mining option. Our foraging option here is either I can sell wood for four gold apiece, or villagers always accept forageables from me as a gift. And then the farming one here. Uh, so gift, I gain an animal product from one of my animals, or gain one crop of a type you currently have planted. Um, I think I will go for the agriculturist here, um, and then whenever the gift icon comes up, I can get a crop of a type I already have planted. Um, so I'll put that down here on my profession track and put the other two away. And we will move on to the summer. All right, so here we go. First card of summer. Uh, is star. Now I have no crops here. That was probably a mistake on my part, um, but there's nothing to turn into quality. Uh, the first player token doesn't go anywhere because I'm a one player game. Uh, let's see, the next one is the fish symbol, and let's see, that was discard the two rightmost fish, and then I'll fill those in here. So the periwinkle and the snail go away. We move these three on down, and I draw two more. And that is the, oh, we got another uh, legendary fish here, the angler. And then we've got a rainbow trout. All right, next up is a Joja tile. So we need to go draw a Joja tile and see what that does for us. We've got cluttered display cases. 
Visiting the museum to donate now requires two actions, so that is not great. And then lastly, I can sell things uh, from my inventory, which I think I will do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell this potato. Uh, I'm also going to sell the leek. And I'm going to keep the fish for now. Um, but I'm going to sell these, and that's going to be six gold that I get uh, from that. So let me just put these away over here. Uh, so the potato goes back into the supply, is my understanding, and then the leak gets discarded. Uh, and I get six gold for selling all of that. So I do have some money again now, which is nice. Uh, and let me figure out which actions I want to take. All right, what I really need to do is start getting some wood here so that I can build my barn or my coop. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into town. I'm going to buy some seeds uh, from Pierre, and I've got quite a bit of money at this point, so I think I'm going to probably buy uh, all four that I'm able to just to get some crops out onto the board and hopefully make some money from them. So for four gold, I'm going to plant a star fruit, a melon, a blueberry and a hot pepper uh, and that is again that's four gold here and then I'm going to move to the farm I'm going to chop down some wood while I'm at it and then I'm going to do the watering action and move everything down one spot uh, all right move back to the the farm and that is it all right next summer card so we have, first action there is to make one of these crops into a quality crop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the hot pepper just because it's the soonest to come back to my hand. Uh, the pet symbol, uh, nothing here. The fish, I get rid of the bottom two. Move three of them over and pull two more fish. I've got an albacore and a tuna. Uh, all right, I'm really hoping for something at the river here because I need more wood and it would be convenient to chop down the trees by visiting the river, but right now there's nothing available at the river. So I think the uh, wood collection will have to wait. And then I can sell items. Uh, I'll go ahead and pass on that for now as well. Just taking a look here, seeing what I should do. Um, I'm... I would really like to upgrade my watering can. I feel like that would be helpful. So I think I'm going to go back to the mine and I'm going to do um, an explore the mine action. So we'll roll our two dice here again. And I roll the exact same thing as I got last time, uh, which will end up giving me another stone. I don't need any of these stones, uh, so this is not working out too well for me. Uh, but I am going to move to the farm. I'm going to take this forgeable uh, here while I'm at it. It is another stone. Uh, so <laughs> I've got three stones and a fiber. I don't need any of them. I'm going to go ahead and discard the fiber. Uh, I can discard that. Uh, it's just taking up a spot in my inventory. And then I'm going to water crops here. So I'm going to take the hot pepper into my hand and move the other crops down. It's the end of that turn, and I feel like I am way behind right now. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like I'm going to win this one. Um, I, I don't think I have the strategy quite down on on how to do this. Um, but we got a lot of turns left, so maybe things will turn around here for us. All right, we have um, a new card here. Uh, let me let me check something before moving forward. Okay, yeah, uh, you can discard things whenever you want. So um, before doing these actions here, I'm going to get rid of two of these stone from my inventory. Uh, just get rid of them here. Uh, let me take care of that. Okay, uh, so we've got the watering action. So we get our blueberry to our hand. Uh, we've got a gift, so uh, the gift action, I can choose one of my befriended villagers and activate their gift ability, and then also uh, all non-villager cards. So let me take a look at that and decide what I want to do. Okay, so uh, I'm going to discard another of the stone that I'm currently holding on to, uh, 
and then I'm going to activate Marnie's ability, a gift ability, which is a random animal product. So I get a, another milk, and then I also now have the profession upgrade uh, for farmer which is gain one crop of a type I currently have planted. That's a gift icon. Um, so you get one of your friend's gifts icons and then all of your item gift icons. So I'm going to go ahead and take a star fruit into my hand because I do have that planted. Uh, so we've got that here as well. Next up is an event. So let's check what event we get. The Star Drop Saloon, draw a villager or choose one from discard and keep as a friend. Uh, okay, so I don't have any in the discard. We'll go ahead and draw Lewis and we'll keep him as a friend. That's a pretty good gift icon there. Reveal a bundle, that could be quite handy. Uh, so let's go ahead and add Lewis here to our list of friends. And then finally I can sell things and I think I'm going to want to do that. Um, I'm going to want to sell the star fruit and the hot pepper. And I think I might as well, let's see, I think I might as well sell the blueberry while I'm at it. So, uh, yeah, so the blueberry is three. The hot pepper was a quality one for three more. And then the star fruit is five. Uh, so that's 11 gold I get there. That's quite a bit. That'll help a lot. So that is it for those actions on the season card. Uh, let me determine here what I want to do next. I'm just sorting out the items here back into their tray. All right, yeah, so this may not be the most efficient use of turns here, but I'm going to go here, water crops. So I'll go ahead and water, um, and I'll take the melon here. And then I'm going to move over to um, river fishing. Uh, there's nothing I can do there, but I'm going to chop down this tree along the way and collect the wood for it. Now, I don't have to take the action at river fishing. Um, I don't think there's any point in doing it. There are no river fish here available at the moment, which is unfortunate, but it's the only place to get wood right now on the board. So with that, we'll move back to the farm. And... Um, yeah, we'll move on now to the next summer card. So I've got a red crow, uh, so I don't have anything in the red part of the field here, so I don't have to discard anything. Uh, and then I can sell things from my hand. So I'm going to go ahead and sell the melon. And I think that's it. I'll sell the melon for four gold. So I'll make four more dollars. Uh, so that's nice. Got quite a bit of cash here that'll help me with at least the... Um, the, the one goal I have there, which is to collect 10 gold. Uh, okay, so actions for this time around. Uh, I'm going to go over here to the mountains. I'm going to visit Robin, and I'm going to buy a building. I'm going to go ahead and build the coop. That's 10 gold and 2 wood. So uh, I'm not entirely sure where to put that. Let me take a look. Uh, it doesn't really say, but I'll go ahead and put the coop right here next to um, my uh, inventory tile. It's 10 gold and 2 wood to build, so I'll go ahead and discard the wood and 10 gold. So with that, I have expanded the farm. Uh, so we have actually built uh, a building, so we have completed this goal. Um, and then we're on our way to raising animals here. Uh, let's see, I need to figure out what to do with our second action. Uh, I think I'm going to stay where I'm at and explore the mine again. Hopefully we'll have a little bit better outcome. Uh, sorry for uh, bumping the camera there. Uh, hopefully we'll have a better outcome this time around. Two hearts. So two hearts is the ladder symbol. And I'm pretty sure that means we move on down to level two. But uh, let me take a look at that just to make sure that I'm not leading this wrong here. Yes, reveal the next mine level card and place a new map. So we get rid of this map. We get rid of this level. Uh, we are now down to level two of the mine. And we get a new map. And that new map is right here. 
Okay, that's the end of that. We move back to the farmhouse. And, yep, I don't have, oh, you know what? That's something I could have done. So I had been mentioning the stone uh, as being somewhat useless for what I was working on here, uh, but you can use the stone to build stairs at the end of a, a turn uh, to go down lower into the mine. Um, it's not something I really need to do at the moment, um, and I needed the inventory space, so I don't think I made like a complete mistake, but uh, that is something to do with stone, so it's not uh, not quite as useless as I probably le uh, led to believe there. All right, that's the end of summer. So place new trees and forageable tiles. I will do that here. Okay, I've put out all of the fall forageables out here and the fall trees. Uh, and then draw two profession upgrades, but again, we'll draw three. Uh, let me draw those. Let me figure out what I want to get from. Uh, I think, once again, I'll take a farming, a foraging, and a mining upgrade card and see what we get. So for the mining, I've pulled Master Slingshot. If you roll a monster in the, mind, uh, in the mine, you may discard a stone to ignore it and trigger another space. Okay. Foraging, I got axe. When you move, may take one wood as well as one forageable adjacent to the path. That would have been nice uh, earlier. And then for farming, gift, water all planted crops. Yes, that is the one I will be taking. All right. I can see how a lot of these would be fun and useful if you had like multiple players playing, like you had a, a dedicated person going to the mine, a dedicated person foraging. I think this game will play a lot differently with with a different player count. So, uh, alright, that is the end of summer, and we are moving on to fall. Alright, fall. We have turning one crop into a quality crop. I've only got one crop, so that is convenient. We're going to water that crop, bring it into our hand. We've got fish, so I'll get rid of two fish. Now these are both of the legendary fish, um, so they don't actually get discarded, they get put down into the fish bag again uh, to possibly be pulled later on. And then we'll pull two new fish. We've got the smallmouth bass and the crimson fish. Uh, I think that's the one I just put in, but <laughs> I guess I did not shuffle well enough there. And then I can sell uh, things here. I'm going to sell the star fruit I've got for six gold. Um, since we spent a lot of it building our coop last time, I want to make sure I'm holding on to at least the 10 gold I need to complete that goal. All right, let me figure out where to go from here. All right, it seems like I pretty urgently need to be flipping over the rest of those community center bundles. So let's go to the town. Uh, and let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I do have a heart token, so let's go ahead and flip over the fish tank. As that is the next one. Uh, any crab pot or legendary fish? That is going to be tough, uh, as I don't have bug meat. There is a legendary fish out there, though, so that might be something we need to try to do. Um, so that was a heart token to do that. Let's get rid of that heart token. Uh, boy, I think what I need to do, hmm, I'm going to, I don't know if I should plant some plant, or plant some crops, I don't really need a whole lot more in the way of cash, though I do need to buy, I do need to buy two chickens. Um, hmm, the decisions here. I think what I'll do at the moment is go over here to Marnie and on the way take this forageable which is oh, we've got the whoop, we've got the worm icon with uh, with the artifact symbol so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right but I think I know what I'm doing yep so I'm gonna draw from the other bag I've got here of minerals and artifacts and that was an artifact symbol so I'll keep the artifact side of what I get and that is the palm fossil. So I'll keep that, and that's something I can go donate to the museum. Uh, okay, so I've made it over here to Marnie, and I'm going to buy a chicken. 
uh, let's see here. Yes, I'm going to buy a... Actually, I'm going to buy a duck. They're the same cost. So I'm going to buy a duck. That's six gold. And I guess I'll put the duck here in my coop. Again, that's six gold. And that is the end of my turn. So we'll go ahead and go back home here. And I don't have any... Oh, actually, I, I could... I do have an animal, so I could pet an animal, but uh, you need heart tokens for that, and I don't have those to spend at all. Uh, so I will not be doing that. So move on now to the next turn. I'm going to rotate the fish out. we got two more of them being discarded. Moving these three down and pulling two more. We get the eel and we get the tiger trout. All right. Uh, all right, next up is a Joja tile. So let's see what we get here. Grumpy villagers, when befriending a villager, you may not gain more than one heart. Uh, okay, so that's something. Uh, I don't know where to put this. I guess I'll just put it here by the um, saloon, just so I remember that. Uh, and then I can sell things here, but I don't think there's anything I want to sell. I want to hang on to that milk. Um, yeah, uh, let me think about that one second. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to it at the moment. Uh, so what I need to do uh, is figure out where to go from here. <laughs> hmm, choices. Choices. Let's see here. I think what we'll do is head on down to Marnie and buy a chicken for six more gold. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the six gold. I'm going to move up to the farm and take this forageable on the way, which is a hazelnut. And then I'm going to attempt to collect from animals. Uh, so to collect from animals, we need to get the animal dice. Uh, and we're going to roll all three of them. And then we'll see what comes up. All right, two, uh, two sheep and a goat, uh, none of which I have, so no resources are collected there. And uh, that is the end of the turn. All right, moving on now to uh, this one. We've got to move the first player token. Uh, that uh, it doesn't matter. Next up is the gift icon. I'm going to use Lewis's gift ability to reveal a bundle. I'll go ahead and reveal the bulletin board. And the bulletin board is chef, so uh, I need a heart plus a crop. Uh, and I do not have any crops on me at the moment. That is problematic. Uh, yeah, I'm, I am misplaying this game. I'm looking forward to getting better at this uh, over time. I don't, I don't think I'm going to end up winning this one. Uh, because the other thing I've got here uh, for my gift abilities are all crop related, and I have no crops, so that was a mistake. And then uh, we've got another Joja tile. So, small business tax. To trigger the open geodes action, you must first discard three gold. That's rough. And then, lastly, I can sell things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell the milk for two. I'm going to sell the fish for two. And I'm going to sell the hazelnut for four. So that is eight gold that I'll make there. Let me discard those. Get the eight gold from the supply here. So I'm up to 11 now. Just taking a look to see what we've got. Uh, let's see here. All right, I'm not sure what to do. Let me, let me, let me give it some thought. All right, I'm going to move to the town. I'm going to plant a crop. Uh, I'm actually going to plant two crops. I'm going to plant uh, bok choy for that and an eggplant. 
it's going to cost me two gold to do it. And then I'm going to move over to the mine, uh, flipping over this, which is a forageable blackberry. Take that into my inventory. And then I'm going to go into the mine. Let's see what happens down here. A heart and a genimo. So either a skull or a skull. And a skull is nothing happens. So, uh, yep, nothing happens there. And we are moving back over to our farm. All right. Huh. <laughs> All right. So uh, green crow and red crow. So let me see here. I think you resolve these in order. Uh, so let me take a look here. Uh, yep, you follow it top to bottom, so green crow, then red crow. I'm going to choose for the green crow to get rid of the eggplant, and then for the red crow, now there is nothing in a red field, so the bok choy will stay. Uh, but that is it for those actions. All right. I think what we need to do... Hmm... I think we probably need to go into town. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to attempt to make a friend. I need a heart token to flip over more of those community center uh, bundles. Um, that Joja ability there is pretty bad though for what I'm trying to do. So is the one over at the museum. So, hmm. Let me think about this. I, I need heart tokens, so I, I think I'm going to try to make another friend. Let's see if I can do that. All right, so Leah. Uh, and she does not want crops. She does not want artifacts or minerals, I think that icon is. Uh, but I can only get one heart at most anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I give her. I'll give her the blackberry that I've got. Um, so I'll make a, I'll make her a friend. I'll discard the blackberry, and I will get a heart token. Uh, and then from there, I think what I will do is let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the community center and flip over the vault with that heart token. 10 gold, uh, that is quite a bit, and I've only got nine right now. So discard the heart token for flipping over the bundle, um, but there's nothing else I can do there. So I'll move on back to the farmhouse, that's the end of fall. Uh, I'll place the new trees and forgeable tiles here, and I will look to see what profession upgrades I have available. All right, the winter tiles have been placed. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and draw a eh, same thing. We'll do foraging, farming. Uh, actually, let's do fishing uh, instead of the farming, fishing. So fishing, foraging, and mining. Uh, the fishing card we get here is you can either do mariner. Before fishing, you can discard up to two fish from the fish track to draw and replace. Or when you fish, you may first gain any one crab pot fish from the fish track. Um, I'm not sure if that means you get it for free. It kind of implies that. Uh, let me take a look at that. Uh, foraging. Seed maker, discard a fiber to gain any two crops matching a type currently planted. That's pretty good. And then for the mining, after resolving a monster's ability in the mine, I may roll again. Uh, let's see here. I think I will keep the lure master and replace the sprinkler um, yeah it says you may gain a crab pot fish from the fish track that makes me think that that's for free uh, so let me know if I'm wrong there uh, but there are no fish pot there are no crab pot fish on the track but hopefully we'll uh, that'll change going forward here all right so winter 
We've got an event. Let's see what event we get. A traveling merchant. Keep. Discard at the river fishing space to gain two items. Uh, okay, so I'll hang on to that, and uh, maybe we'll have to head out to the river fishing spot. Get another Joja tile, which is toxic algae bloom. No fishing allowed at the ocean. Okay. And then, uh, lastly, we have selling things, but uh, there's nothing I can sell, uh, or nothing I want to sell. So, all right, let's decide what actions to take. All right, well, I've pretty much resigned myself to the fact here that I won't be winning this game, uh, so I'm just going to try to do as much as I can here. Uh, so we're going to go to the river fishing spot um, to start off with, and I'm going to, it doesn't say it takes an action, I'm going to discard uh, at the river fishing space to gain two items. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, so first item and second item here, we've got tub o flowers so I can discard and gain three heart tokens that's pretty useful and then I also got cherry bomb discard while at the mine to trigger one mine grid space so okay I'll keep uh, both of those there I'm going to do river fishing there's no crab pot fish right now so I don't get to use my lure master ability but I'm still going to attempt to fish I still need um, uh, a fish, a uh, legendary fish. Um, there is no legendary fish down here at the river, but I'm just going to do the fishing anyway. I wanted to get the items, so here we go. Alright, two hearts and a Junimo. Uh, we are at the river, so I needed three hearts basically to get the tiger trout. But that's all right. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is move over to the farm to water the crops. And on the way, I will take this forgeable here, which is a stone. All right, so that's the end of that turn. Go ahead and flip over the next one here. And I know I, I'm kind of skipping the end of turn effects. I don't really feel like I have the ability to do it right now. I don't really have any hearts to pet animals or remove the Joja tiles. Um, I need to hang on to my money. I need 10 gold uh, for the goal up here, and I need 10 gold for the community center bundle. Um, so I, I don't feel like there's really much I can do. I guess I'll use the stone. You know what, I'll go ahead and use the stone um, for the end of turn effects. I know I should have done that here before I flipped over that last card, but it, it's fine. Um, let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. I can discard a number of stones equal to the number of players to descend in the mine. Uh, so whenever you descend in the mine, uh, I reveal the next mine level and replace the map card. So we'll get a new map card here. And then we go down to the next level. Okay. All right, so fish, uh, discard the first two, move the next three down, and then pull one here, get a perch, and a lingcod. All those crab pot fish earlier on are gone, <laughs> and I need one of them. Um, all right. Next up is Gift Ability. So I think I'm going to use Lewis's ability here, which is to reveal a bundle. I'm going to have him reveal that final bundle here. So go ahead and flip it over. Uh, I, I need bug meat. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I'm also going to do the Gift Ability on my item here, the Tub of Flowers. I'm going to discard it to gain three heart tokens. That'll be nice. So got three heart tokens here. And then the other one, uh, I can gain a crop of a type I currently have planted. I do have a bok choy planted, so I'll go ahead and gain that as well. Uh, so that's pretty handy. Though we do have another Joja tile inbound, and that is lost blueprints. Buildings now require one additional wood to build. Uh, that's fine. I'm not planning on building any more buildings. And then I can sell things, but uh, I don't think there's anything I want to sell at the moment. So with that, let me figure out what to do. All right, I'm going to head over to the mine. I think we need to do some mining. Uh, so here we go. Roll 
two of these dice to see what we get. Two Genimos, which is a stone. So we'll go ahead and take a stone. And I'm going to mine again because I, I need materials from the mine right now. Two hearts. Two hearts is nothing. So, yep. I know, I know in the, um, like if you upgrade your pickaxe, uh, you can kind of move around on that map chart a little bit more. And I, I have not upgraded that because I don't have it. Um, so that's why I'm not having a whole lot of success there, I think. But uh, so that's the end of that turn. I'll come back to the farm. I do have three heart tokens, and I'm going to spend two of them to get rid of some Joja tiles. I'm going to get rid of cluttered display cases, and I'm going to get rid of the toxic algae bloom um, Joja tiles here. Those are uh, preventing me from doing things I need to do here. Flip over the next season card. We have an event. Let's see what we have here. Uh, all right, so keep this. I can discard when any player donates to the museum to get an item. Okay, so I'll hang on to that. And then I can sell items, uh, but I am not going to do that. All right, uh, I'm going to head on down to the ocean. And I'm going to do some fishing there. I would really like to try to catch that... Um, the legendary fish there. So here we go. Two hearts and a Junimo. So uh, nope, uh, that's not going to be anything down there. Just taking a look, making sure I'm doing that correctly. Yep. Uh, I'm going to try it again because I really need that fish. Nope, still <laughs> nothing there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there should be, I think it's on one side of the dice. So just uh, didn't get lucky that time. That's all right. We'll head back here to the farmhouse, uh, and I have, I should have discarded two of these hearts from the last time when I got rid of those two Joja tiles. Uh, there's no end of turn effects that I want to do this time around, because uh, I actually like the level of the mine I'm on. Uh, you do get bug meat if you get a skull, um, though, you know, it, it seems unlikely that this is all going to come together for me, but that's all right. All right, discard two of the fish, discard the eel, and the legendary fish goes back into the bag. These three move down. Try to shuffle them up here. Uh, we get a walleye, and we get a treasure chest. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I am going to not sell anything. All right. We are going to go to the mine once more because why not? Let's do it. All right. Heart and a Junimo, which is nothing. And then I'm going to move over to the community center, taking this along the way, which is a winter forgeable item. It's a holly. Put that in my inventory here. Oh, hang on a second. Let me back up. I have the cherry bomb. I should have discarded this while I was at the mine. I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard. I'm going to discard while at the mine to trigger one mine grid space. I'm going to trigger the skull, which gives me one bug meat um, per the mine level here. The skull gives me a bug meat. So I will go ahead and do that. Let me uh, take that out of the supply here. All right, so I move down to the town, and I'm going to go to the community center, and I'm going to donate the winter forageable. I'm going to donate any crop with a heart token. I've got the heart token over there. And I'm going to donate the bug meat and the heart token. So I have actually just completed three of the community center bundles. Um, so let me just get these out of the way here. And that will give me three items as well. Uh, so let's draw those. I can only keep a total of two. But uh, first one is a torch. Discard during my turn to activate one symbol on the current season card. 
Uh, cannot retrieve torch from discard. Okay. Next item is wine. Discard to choose any player's befriended villager. They give you a gift. Okay. And then third item is a pearl. Discard when drawing villagers to draw two. You may try to friend them both. All right, those would be pretty good all early on, but uh, I'm going to keep not the pearl. I'm going to keep the other two. Uh, all right, so that is the end of that turn. Move back to the farmhouse, and uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the stone. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next and final turn here. Uh, so gift, the gift ability. I've got four friends here. I can either get a random animal product, I can get an item from the discard pile, I can reveal a bundle, or I can get a stone uh, from the supply or a wood from the board. Let me take a look. So I'm actually going to use Linus's here, which is gain one random item from the discard pile. The fish that get discarded go to the discard pile, and I'm going to take one of the uh, crab pot fish here and take that into my inventory. Uh, I can also gain one crop of any type I have planted from the uh, the agriculturist ability that I had before, and I still have that bok choy there. So we'll go ahead and take the bok choy. All right, and then I can sell things. Uh, I will go ahead and sell the bok choy for two gold. Okay, and this is my last turn here. So what I'm going to do, let me think about it. Let's take a look and see what goals I've currently got going on here. Raise animals. Own animals equal to two times the number of players. I've done that. Uh, save enough gold. Have 10 gold per player by the end of the game. I assume what that means is at the end of the game, I need to have 10 gold. Um, I do have... Right now, I've got 11 gold. Um, so I do currently meet that, but we'll come back to that momentarily. I need to fill two museum slots. Uh, I only have one item to even do that right now. And then I need to build um, uh, I need to build a building equal to the number of players. I do have a coop. So I do have the animals. I do have the expand the farm. Um, and then going over to the community center, I still have the crab pot and the 10 gold ones left. So I, if I give the 10 gold to the community center, I won't have it for the goal and vice versa. So I'm not going to be able to finish all of these, but I am actually getting a little closer than I thought I would. So what I'm going to do is go to, let's see here. I'm going to go to the town. I can actually complete the remaining two community center um, bundles here. So uh, I can donate the crab pot for the crab pot item, and then I can give 10 gold for the final one. Let me go ahead and discard that gold. Uh, so I get an item for the first one there, the, uh, the crab pot. Oil of garlic, I can draw, or discard to draw three map cards for the mine and choose one to place as the current one. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to discard that. I already have two items as it is. Uh, but then I do get an epic item for finishing the last room, which is Return Scepter. Before taking an action on your turn, you may change your location to any space. So, it's nice. Uh, Alright, I have one action remaining. Uh, I will... Let's see here doesn't really matter too much, uh, but I will go over to the museum. I'll take this forageable on the way, which is a snow yam, and then I'm going to donate to the museum. Um, going to donate. Let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. Again, it doesn't really matter from the purpose of winning the game, but still want to make sure I'm doing this right. So if I have artifacts or minerals, I may visit the Gunther at the museum and donate them. I can spend one action to donate any number of them from my inventory. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to donate the palm fossil, and it's a C, so it goes into slot C. 
if you fill A through D or E through H, you get an epic item. Um, and then I did have that goal up here to fill two of the slots, though I've only filled one of them. So with that, that's my last action. I'm going to come back here to the farmhouse, and that is it. We've got the last days of winter. That is the end of the game. So I did actually end up completing the community center bundles, which surprised me. I, I was not expecting that, uh, <laughs> the way the game had gone for like the first three seasons. But I do not have 10 gold right now, and I only restore, or I only donated one item to the museum. So I did not complete the restore the museum uh, goal. So uh, I completed most of the uh, objectives, but not all of them. So this was a loss, but uh, I think it was a good learning experience. Um, I think I'll, uh, when you play Stardew Valley, the video game, I don't recall it feeling quite so time pressured, uh, which is fine. Like it's fine for the board game, but I think I went into the game thinking I had more time than I actually did. Uh, so I think that got me kind of early on. I would also be interested to play this with other people, either with other real people. Um, I'll try to get some friends to play this, uh, or even if I just play it next time by myself, I might try to play as two different people. I think having multiple people with the ability to focus on on particular um, tasks, like if you have somebody who's focused on the mine and upgrading their pickaxe and actually like getting profession cards to do the mine, I think you'd have a lot more success there. Same with the fishing, same with the farming. I was trying to do a little bit of everything in my role, and I uh, it clearly didn't work this time. I'm sure it can work. I got pretty close, um, and I think if I would have made some better decisions, especially early on with the crops, um, I think I might have had a little bit better success. I also went fishing probably more than I needed to. I probably went to the mine more than I needed to. Um, and had some pretty, uh, a lot of the roles were not very lucky, but again, that's kind of by design from the way I'm, from what I can tell here, um, you're supposed to be increasing your profession abilities in fishing and mining, uh, so that you can mitigate bad roles, which I did not do. So... Yeah, so having said all that, uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to playing it again. Hopefully you got something out of this. Sorry that it was a loss, but uh, you know you can learn a lot through losses here. So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and I am looking forward to the next one.